Hey guys, King Cade here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are gonna be seeing how far we can get on Desi's trip without a car. Let's go ahead and get right into this. So we are gonna be doing this solo because we don't even need a teammate since we are doing this without a car. So we're now in the game. Let's go ahead and turn off those build car instructions because we are gonna be doing this on foot. Also, by the way, we are doing this free to play, meaning that we can't respawn and that we can't get this. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and run. So we don't really need any of this stuff. If you really wanted to, I believe you could. Could probably like fly away with this door and then we could just do that which is actually kind of strange which to be honest is actually working pretty well and before we see how far we can get i just want to say please make sure to go ahead and smash that subscribe button because we are over halfway to 100,000 subscribers and it really helps out the channel so make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get right back to the video this door is actually working extremely well i'm still going and i haven't even fell off yet and we're already at 500 meters. We now made it to the 5,000 meter mark, and that is the bridge below us. So it's actually very easy for us to cross it. And just a few more meters. So we already went ahead and passed 5,000 meters just with a door. So we did go ahead and fall, but that's fine. So it's only been like just over five minutes, and we already made it this far. That's actually very surprising. Yeah, so there we go. We passed the 5,000 meter mark. And let's just go ahead and keep going. So we don't really need to make too many stops. We will probably need to stop somewhere around like 20,000 meters. Just so we can go ahead and get some food because we can't let our hunger get too low or else we will die but other than that we're pretty much chilling as long as we don't get caught in a tornado or struck by lightning because if we get caught in a tornado we'll be fine but it will probably fling our door so far away that we won't be able to get it in a storm if we get struck by lightning we will also die so besides those two things then we should be good for pretty much as long as we want we're now flying like directly over a tornado so let's try to go this way so we can avoid it so a tornado just spawned like right in front of us which is very bad so let's just try to go around it and i think we're good so we can't really look behind us without falling or going towards it so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep flying i think we did pass it though so that was actually very unlucky which we did just fall and all right let's hopefully that doesn't fly away okay there we go so the tornado i think it is gone i can still hear it i just can't see it hopefully it's just out of render distance so as long as it's not near us that is fine but anyway, let's just go ahead and keep going also whenever it turns to nighttime i think i'm just gonna go ahead and find a place to just like chill and until it's daytime because whenever it gets really dark it is much harder to see which while using this door i want to stay close to the road because if you get too far away from the road the map does end and you may fall off the edge so i'm doing my best to stay close to the road which actually we could just fly above this which i mean it does get like pitch black later though like right now it's dark but it does get a lot darker than this so hopefully we can find a building just like this one so here we go let's go ahead and chill here until the daytime so i'm just gonna go ahead and get close to it which i don't have any weapons to kill them which actually let's go ahead and check inside see if there's any weapons if there is then i should be able to kill them and yeah there is a bowling ball awesome so let's see if there's anyone in here and actually never mind there's no one in here so i'll just go ahead and close the door and now i'll just go ahead and wait until daytime hopefully the door doesn't despawn it's now daytime let's go ahead and check and all right good the door is still here i thought it would despawn i think things do despawn because sometimes if i have tons of gas cans and they all fall on the ground some of them do like sink into the sand and like despawn but anyway we made it 7.5 thousand meters which is pretty good and let's just go ahead and keep continuing and see how far we can go i think I think a sandstorm is happening but we shouldn't die from it which i just realized while i was in the house i should grab some food and ate it but we should be fine i'll go ahead and stop somewhere else and grab some food we're now approaching the 10,000 meter mark so let's go ahead and head over there so let's position it correctly and now let's head over there so hopefully we don't fall off so let's just fly above them and hopefully they don't shoot at us and hopefully we don't fall off if either of those happen then we're pretty much dead because if y'all don't know these items do actually have a certain amount of health and they can be destroyed and oh snap there's a tornado right there all right well that is unlucky let's try going this way all right well we fell that's all right because we went ahead and passed all the people with the guns but anyway let's see if we can pass this tornado so let's first position it so we can like stand on it and now let's probably go this way hopefully it doesn't like suck us up but anyway let's go around it and all right i think we managed to get past it which is very good but we've been doing this for about like 25 minutes now and we already made it to 10,000 meters which i would say that's pretty good let's go and reposition it. there we go so if we position it correctly then we are able to travel like 3,000 meters but sometimes i like misplace it and we only travel like 500 but it's still pretty good so we've been doing this for about 25 minutes and we're at 10,500 meters i think that's actually pretty good i'm not sure if it's faster than a car i think it actually might be because at this rate we should go ahead and arrive at like 50,000 meters in about two hours it seems like a long time but it would take you probably like over three hours to reach 50,000 meters anyway so i would say we're at a pretty good pace we now just 
just 15,000 meters. So this is the spot right here. Let's just wait for it to fall. There we go. So this is the 15,000 meter area. Pretty nice. Not too much we can do there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue. I might wait until daytime. Actually, no, I'm not gonna wait until daytime. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going. And the next place I see, I'm gonna stop there and eat some food because our hunger is starting to get pretty low. And if y'all don't know, if your hunger hits zero, you instantly die. I only died from hunger one time and that's because I completely ignored it. So make sure that you do find some food and eat every now and then. So we now found a gas station so let's go ahead and land here and we can easily land just by looking down so there we go now let's go ahead and just drop that and awesome so there is this dude let's just go ahead and avoid him so now we're just looking for any food we can find and it looks like there's only one piece of food here all right well i guess that's kind of unlucky and yeah this place only had one piece of food but anyway let's just go ahead and continue and see if there's anywhere else we can stop at so we now found another gas station so let's go ahead and get over there real quick so i'm just gonna run over there because i accidentally just landed over there so there we go we're gonna just go ahead and drop that right there and now let's see if there's any food so we don't need too much just enough to go ahead and fill us up so there we go and a tomato awesome and then it looks like there's like nothing else here i usually find so much food and yet yeah, nothing else here which is fine because we're pretty much full hunger now so now we should have enough hunger to make it to like thirty thousand meters so now we just gotta go ahead and keep gliding away until we reached it we're now in the middle of a storm and we just have to get past this as quick as possible because we just need to make sure that we don't get hit which is actually like super hard to see right now and all right i need to go ahead and glide upwards i need to get near the road so that i can go ahead and see where i'm going but we need to really hope we don't get struck by lightning because that is an insta kill which i am holding the door pretty weirdly if you look on the very right you'll see that's like side by side by me but this is actually making it very easy <laughs> and dang a lightning strike was right next to me and there we go awesome that was actually such a quick storm surprised that i was over that fast but anyway i'm actually gonna go ahead and drop the door right here because since it's at like this weird angle it's making us go very slowly compared to this right here we're already much faster going like this we're now approaching 20,000 meters and let's go ahead and see if we can fly over this ghost town so up here is actually a ghost town in a storm at the same time i guess that is unlucky but anyway let's go ahead and fly over the ghost town if we fall while we're flying above the ghost town we are completely dead because look at how many people are down there that is a lot and oh snap all right i guess we went ahead and fell that is very lucky let's see if we can hop on and all right we are just gonna run away let's go ahead and run up here have them all follow us jump back down and let's quickly grab the door and fly away and oh snap they somehow caught up to us and let's go ahead and keep running and dang so it looks like we died very unlucky right there which to be honest i could have probably went around the ghost town but i decided to risk it and fly over it so we could go ahead and use robux to continue but i think that is pretty good right there we made it over 20,000 meters without using a car so that's pretty good so if y'all want y'all can go ahead and try this and comment down below how far y'all make it but anyway that's gonna be all for this video though so make sure you leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see y'all in the next video Yo.